Yep. Okay, everybody. I'm guessing that you understand what's going on here. We are doing a squid dissection uh, because we can't do it in, physically in the lab. Thank you, coronavirus. So instead, I'm going to do one here for you. So I've already started opening the squid up a little bit, so, as you can see. But I'm going to flip it back over and close it so you guys get an idea of some of the external anatomy first. So um, this whole thing here, this is all the mantle, the spotted little bit running along here. This is its tail around down here, this uh, soft tissue bit down here, and these are fins. Its head is here. It has a pair of eyes. And then the shorter arms are the tentacles, and they have those suction cups on the end, and the longer, ar longer ones are the actual arms of the animal. And uh, running up along the back of him, uh, right here at the very tip, is the pen. Um, and that's going to connect into the gladius, which I pulled off a part of right here, part of the pen. There we go. So that is some of the external anatomy. And now we're going to flip him back over. And we're going to look at some of the internal. So I opened up the mantle. And in my haste to do so and show you guys, I. I uh, blew up the ink sac a bit. Uh, I apologize, you don't get to see that. This was part of the ink sac. It is a very dark colored organ on a squid, so if you look up at any other pictures or videos of the squid dissection on YouTube, um, that's what you'll be looking at. I also removed the beak. Uh, the beak's right here in this uh, little tissue pack. I'm gonna hold it right here. Tony's helping me with the video. Hi, Tony. And um, this is part of the beak right here. Just popped it out a little bit to show you. Um, it's it's kind of difficult, I know, to see it. And because of that, I'm actually going to show you guys um, this jarred specimen right here. This is what the beak looks like without all the tissue on it. Behind the beak uh, will be the squid's radula. Um, the radula, or it's a synapomorphy, obviously, of all of our mollusks, with the exception of the bivalves. Um, and again, the mantle is yet another synapomorphy. Uh, Behind the radula, um, externally that we can see, this is the funnel. Um, and behind that, we'll have an esophagus inside, and that will connect into our stomach. Um, it's a, also, the mantle opening is also down here as well. So this is all just mantle cavity on the inside. Um, there's a brain tucked up in here. It's a little hard to see and hard to find. Um, and again, here's that gladius running along the back. It's this spiny, hard bit I will try to take out in a little bit. Uh, these are the squids, gonads, this white, gloppy bit right there for y'all. Um, the stomach is situated back over here. Uh, it also has a heart um, somewhere tucked into this mass of uh, tissue. I won't make you guys know all of these things. I will put a list out on Blackboard of the important uh, structures that you do need to know. Uh, and then also here are the gills, these feathery little side bits right through here. And this should be part of the digestive gland right through here. And it does have a rectum running along uh, on the other side of the ink sac as well. And that is a very, very fast and dirty uh, example of some of our uh, squid dissection. I'm sorry you guys don't actually get to do this in person. It's a lot more fun. You're missing out the, uh, on the eff effects of it smelling a bit like a red lobster in here. Um, but hopefully you guys get to enjoy this. I'll get some other videos and other pictures to get a little more clear footage of what's going on inside of our squid because this was a little bit of a uh, frozen one and he's a little, little bit soupy. Um, and that's it for our squid dissection.